Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the Triple Studios channel. Uh, today, we are going to be making a button lock system. And it's really, really quite simple, so we're not going to waste any time. I've already named my project Button Lock Tutorial. Um, so yeah, for this we only really need a button, so that's really it. So I'm going to go ahead um, and delete this cat over here, and we're going to go choose the button sprite. It doesn't have to be a button, it can be anything you want. I'm just going to make it a button. So, now that our button is in the very centre, all I am going to do is go over to variables and create, rename this variable. We don't need to create because Scratch has thankfully created one for us, so it just speeds up our process. And we're going to rename this to button lock. It doesn't matter what you call it as long as you understand what it is. And so now we're going to just grab this, grab this set button lock to zero, and then go back up to events and grab the when green flag click and then put, connect those two blocks together. And then once you've done that, what you want to do is get your when the sprite clicked button. I'm going to clean my blocks up. So when the sprite clicked, you now we want to go down to the if button. So there we go. Now we want the uh, go down to operations, drag out this like diamond shaped block. I don't know what to, I don't know what shape that is, I'm not very good at shapes. And then you wanna change the number to one. Go down to variables and drag in your button lock code and plop that into the if button lock equals one and then and then we need to now do this code. So just to make it clear I am going to Make it so that the button changes colour. You don't have to do that. It'll only take a couple of seconds. Let me just quickly check. Oh, oh, it'll just take a couple of seconds. It doesn't matter what colour it is. There we go. I'm also going to just quickly pop that in now. So I can go there, I can go there. Just clean the box up. There we go. So now that we've done that, now if we want the button lock to be, I don't know, one so if the button lock is on then all we have to do is go over to here uh, and then go down to this stop block here now you're going to need two of these and if you want a delay in your button lock so you click it it does whatever it wants to do so you can't click it then if you click it again there's nothing and then if you wait one second and then click again, it will do something. If you want that, then grab a weight control block. I will be showing you both of those. So, now we can't actually connect these together because they're not, stop blocks aren't like that. So you wanna click here and change this to other scripts in Sprite. So you wanna put that at the very top. Then you wanna put your delay block in. So wait how many seconds you want the delay to be. Put that under there and drag the stop all. And then we want to change this to this script. So now it will change all of the script. If you don't want the delay, just take this out. It works either way. But this just means it will stop everything from working. No matter if you click, it will stop everything from working. And there's nothing you can do. So now I'm going to have it with a delay, first of all. And then, now we want to do this. We can duplicate this. And then we'll just change, change that the one to zero, so one being on and zero being off. Simple binary stuff. That's not what binary is, but simple stuff like a light switch, up. Usually, well, I don't know if up is into the wall. It's usually off. Down if it's pointing out, it's off. Down it's pointing in the wall, and it's. On. I'm not very good at describing things, but I do well. So now we just want it to do whatever it wants to do. So I'm going to switch the costume 
the costume to and then we're gonna just switch it back there we, there we go so now if we click this we'll do this switch it back to do this if we keep clicking it does still work okay oh that reminds me because we forgot to put in the thing so we want to just put this here change the button lock by minus one to reset it back to zero so there we go it does it now if we click it it should stop working i think it's because i've done something wrong however i am not too sure let's do this maybe because something's not happening uh, I'm just going to pop in some music from the scratch thing. Loops. Oh, that's fine. And now I'll just make this. Impossible to hear. And then... Just forever... Thing pops up. And then... Play sound until done. So now that the sound is going on in the background, and this pops up, can I click it? I believe it should turn off. I am not too sure why this is not working. Give me a couple of seconds to find out why. Okay, so the first thing that you might notice is that uh, it does look a bit different. Yes, I have added a countdown, because originally I thought that I had developed a code that made it so any button locks however this will specifically work with a countdown or you just need a sprite with multiple different costumes of it could be of the exact same thing it just has to it just works with different costumes which just makes your game a teeny weeny teeny weeny 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 bit like a very small percentage amount bigger and takes up more space of your game but that is fine so the first thing that you're going to need is a event uh, mine's called countdown it can be whatever it want you, you want it to be um, and the next thing you need uh, you don't need any more variables and so next thing you need is to just do the simple things in the countdown so like this your basic things to make the game look a lot neater here uh, and then this simple code to just switch the costume over and over. And then here you can just have broadcast message or change the variable to on or off or whatever you want to do after the button lock has finished button locking. So it can take less than one second, it's fine. It just means your button lock will process quicker. Um, so yeah, so here are all the bits of the code that you're going to need. So the first thing you're going to need is the when sprite click. That's pretty fair, fairly obvious. Now, if you want the now you want an if whatever then there then the code else and then another piece of code. So next thing you want to do, you want to put that in first. Next thing you want to do is get the button lock and put it in there. If the button lock equals one, then it will print out this code. So you should already have all of this code if you're following this tutorial while I was doing it. You should have all of it. The next thing you want to do is grab the if, whatever it is, then block. You want to put that in else. So now you just you can copy and paste this by right clicking, click duplicate, and put it in there, and then change the one into a zero. Oops can change the one into a zero just double left clicking on it or by clicking on it once it's fine change that to zero and the next thing you want is to broadcast your message and then you don't need the go to that is just to need to know my game so i'm going to show you what it looks like now this should all work there is no reason why this shouldn't work so if we click it click start Click this, our countdown starts, if we click it, it doesn't change the number back into what it was originally. So if, if I click it, it's 3, click it, it won't change back to 3, click this, it won't change back to 1, click this, it won't go back 
Now if you pay attention over here, when, to this piece of code here, so obviously this is always active because of the music. But yeah, we don't even, I'm not sure if we even need that. It really doesn't matter. So when the sprite clicked, just pay attention to this block of code here. So we're going to restart the game. I'm going to click it. Click it again. Click it again. Click it again. And as you can see, it's fine. It doesn't change this whatsoever. Um, yeah, so that's how you do a simple button lock system in your Scratch game. If you wonder what this is, this is my project that I am working on. Uh, it is going to focus real-time PvP and AI PvP and yeah. So look out for that in the future. So leave a like and subscribe on the Drupal Studio ch channel. My channel will be in the description below. It would be really nice if you guys could come over and subscribe to me. Because currently right now the Drupal Studios channel has 400 views, more views than me. And it, uh, this channel is fairly new, I think. And I will be redoing the inventory system video later on. Probably next video that I am in. Scorchpix probably going to be doing another Unity because you guys have been requesting them. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.